<laughs> Welcome to episode five of our microwave series. That was ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not that far yet. <laughs> and uh, what's the series called? Bitches be crazy. Bitches be yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yes. All right. And what are we gonna microwave this week? Grillo pads! <laughs> and uh, I guess that's it. We were gonna microwave, give me, give me, we were gonna microwave uh, explosives this week with FPS Russia, except something went wrong, crazy. Oh, you know what it was? It's, it's his birthday. Yeah. He's so gonna be nine. He, he's almost nine. So um, I, I had like thought I was gonna run down there, but I didn't wanna miss his birthday. So here we are, and let's get to microwaving. Yes. All right. <laughs> So this was my first attempt, and what I was hoping would happen is I'd get some fire, I'd get some plasma balls, maybe, I'd get that soap to expand. My first video ever, I did soap, and it expanded in this really reactive way, and I was like, oh, if I could combine, like, this Brillo pad with soap, then I'd get some really cool thing. And if you look at it, this is what I actually got on my first attempt. Kind of a scalding type thing, a little bit of spark or flame every once in a while, but not the super effect that I was really dreaming of. And I did some studying and I figured out why. The front that I removed from the microwave, it created a, a, a kind of effect. It's called a Faraday cage. Now, I found a picture where they're using a Faraday cage to keep this woman safe from the electricity that's trying to get toward her. In the case of a microwave, it's the opposite effect. What they're doing is they're creating a cage to keep that electromagnetic radiation inside the microwave. Well, I modified this microwave so that you could see inside better, but that means that the electromagnetic radiation is escaping out the front. You know, And by the way, I'm standing off somewhere clear, don't do this at home, but it's escaping out the front, and therefore my microwave is a little less powerful than it would have been otherwise because the radio waves, the electromagnetic radiation is not bouncing around on the inside. So let's keep trying. My next idea was to grab a pair of new Brillo pads, sort of, I don't know, loosen them up a little bit, make them bigger, make them more exposed to the air so they're not this tight little compact ball, and see what effect the microwave would have on these. Because maybe it'll be easier to have a reaction on a Brillo pad in this form than it would in its default, like, compressed form. All right, we had a little something right there. Let's watch it again in slow-mo and see what she looks like. Some sparks, maybe? A little bit of fire? Yeah, now we're cooking. The spreading out idea sort of worked. And then the microwave quits on me. This thing won't stay alive. So now it's time to go to Target and get some reinforcements. So here I am with a brand new microwave. You can't tell, but this film going on here. I've got my flashlight out. It's getting darker and darker. And immediately we get this. Now we're talking. Now we've got that Faraday cage on the inside doing its cooking. Now we have a more powerful microwave and uh, sit back and listen to the sounds of sweet plasma firing off inside. Readjust the camera a little bit here so we can get a more uh, deeper into the microwave view. Watch it go. And here we go. Yes. Yes, this is what I wanted. This is the shot. (laughs) I have created plasma, the fourth state of matter. We have gas, we have liquid, we have solid, and we have plasma. So you can go Google it if you want to, but um, we've done it. We've got Brillo pads in here, catching fire in a brand new microwave once again. So uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Um, my microwave budget keeps going up every week as I uh, as I have to buy new ones. But um, but I really enjoy the series, so I think I'm gonna keep going. Anyway, look at this. This is pretty cool. Uh, be sure to give this thing a like and uh, have a good day. All right, if you like video games and microwave hijinks, then you can subscribe to my channel with the top blue box. If you only want to see the microwave videos, you can subscribe to the show with the bottom blue box. Two videos you may have missed. The top one is microwaving ammunition. The bottom one is microwaving CDs. And uh, yeah, I hope you like the show. If you did like it, be sure to drop me a like, drop it a comment, let me know what you think, what you'd like to see microwave next time. And I always appreciate your feedback. So uh, that's it. Have a good day. Until next Friday, when we microwave something else crazy again.